China is a vast land of plentiful resources with an extraordinary biodiversity and four distinct seasons. Over the years, as the days fly by and the seasons quickly pass, Chinese people continue to pursue the universal truth behind the union of man and nature. Since ancient times, humans have always desired to maintain health and prolong life. Exploring the applications of nature and searching for the secrets to human health, Chinese people have always demonstrated wisdom and acuity. Even as far back as the divine farmer tasting a hundred herbs, Chinese people have continuously endeavored to answer the mysteries of life through nature. In the Ming Dynasty, Li Shizhen compiled the Compendium of Materia Medica, an advanced natural history in China, to its apex. Developed through practical application, traditional Chinese medicine integrates deep philosophical wisdom, healthy lifestyle ideology, and clinical experience. Traditional Chinese medicine is, without a doubt, a cultural treasure. Qichun is a county located towards the middle lower areas of the Yangtze River in China. They grow and harvest a specific type of herb, Qichun mugwar a commonly used medicinal herb by the Chinese people. As the Dragon Bow Festival draws near, the farmers are busy harvesting. Qichun mugwort leaves will be used as a seasonal food ingredient and as a substance to a common medicinal practice. Nature's flora and fauna provided the Chinese people with a guide to healthy living. Qichun's culture is rich with traditional Chinese medicine. For thousands of years, the spirit, benevolence, and morality of medicine acts to save those in distress, and this essence has been passed down over the centuries. In 1518, Li Shijin was born in this county. At the age of 23, Li Shijin started passionately studying medicine with his whole mind. In the vast array of ancient medical texts, Li Shijin discovered many previous mistakes and questionable theories. At the age of 35, he began his astonishing goal to reorganize and refine the classics of ancient material medica. He named his project the Compendium of Materia Medica. After 30 years of editing and assessing more than 800 different texts, he finally finished the manuscript for the Compendium of Material Medica. And to this day, even in China, many people, if you ask them, do you know about Ben Cao, they say, yes, Ben Cao Gangmu. Mm -hmm. But Ben Cao Gangmu is the apex, of course, it's, it's the most significant one. His book compiled 1,892 entries of medicine, including 1,109 hand-drawn pictures. Up to the 16th century, this book was considered the most detailed, the most encompassing, and the most scientific piece of medical literature in China. However, before the Compendium of Materia Medica was published, Li Shijin passed away unexpectedly. This masterpiece, acknowledged as the Chinese Encyclopedia by Charles Darwin, was accepted into UNESCO's Memory of the World International Register in 2011. 呃,过去日本的开业医生,呃,过,摸脉是不能,后边应该排在这边找到路了。啊,这是,呃,说明,啊,我是有学,有学问的意思。Li Shijin is an icon, an exemplary representative of ancient Chinese medicine. You know Li Shijin? Of course, uh, every one among medical scientists. We're from Li Shijin. We all know Li Shijin. Do you know Li Shijin? 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 Do you know Li Shijin
呃，我知道，就是写的这呃，本草纲我知道。这个呃，夏谷草，对，这个、很好。一到夏天，这个草就枯萎了。五套书，两个是江西版系统的，那三套是前满系统的。中国国内像这样保存这么完整的书，应该是非常少见的。还是一八二四年。俄国东正教第十届传教团的医生沃伊采霍夫斯基从北京购买的，这个应该是这本书流传到俄罗斯的一个比较确凿的一个证据。Chinese medicine has substantial foundations and the tenacious capacity to grow. Wherever there are Chinese people, there will be Chinese medicine. Since ancient times. Chinese medicine both inherits from tradition and leaps to innovation. With the Compendium of Materia Medica as a guide, China is currently designing a blueprint for the development of Chinese medicine. I strongly believe that herbal medicines help to connect us with the natural world in a way that Western medicines do not. Now, the world is connected and interconnected. 这个就是中医的天人合一的世界观。If we recollect the wisdom of our predecessors and join forces as one, the culture of Chinese medicine, with Li Shijin and the Compendium of Material Medica symbols, will rise amid culture and heritage, will develop amid innovation, will transform into a unique health resource. Will grow into a massive economic resource. Will provide as an excellent cultural resource, and will prove to be a significant ecological resource. Chinese medicine will endeavor to benefit all of mankind with new contributions. <laughs>